name is Monica Haft, and I live in suburban Dallas area. Um, and yeah, I would consider myself, I'm not joking, a traumatized Republican and very disgruntled and just, yeah, just sad, disenfranchised Republican. Yeah. I voted early in the 2020 election. I was allowed to see a paper strip to make sure that I voted, you know, that my vote was accurate. I was asked to verify it if I wanted to. Uh, and it was seamless and it was early voting and it was absolutely fantastic, you know, in the middle of the pandemic. And I think everyone has a right to that kind of access and that type of ease in voting. I didn't have to wait. I wasn't stressed out. I picked when it was convenient for me and I went. And uh, I think everyone should have that right and that ability. I see the validity of saying, we're not gonna just en masse send out ballots to everybody, um, but they should then turn around and make it extremely easy to receive a ballot once you request it. And, and the concern is, well, the law says it has to be like this fixed structure or whatever. Well, then change it. Like, it's really not that big a deal. You know, if, if, if that's the concern that it, it violates the law, then change the law. Um, the goal is voter turnout, not voter suppression. The goal is how do we make this easier for people to legally, through showing their identification and whatever is required for all people across the board, um, that once they've verified who they are, then, then, you know, make it easy. Early voting, 24-hour day, you know, 24-hour stops, all of those things that, that just make sense in this culture. You know, if people volunteer to, to stay at a precinct for 24 hours and they want to do it to keep it open so that people can vote, then what does it matter? What does it matter? What is the reason for making it so difficult or putting any impediment any impediment whatsoever to, to someone for their, their right to vote. The only reason is suppression. This kind of effort, for what reason other than to alter the outcome? And they're altering the outcome because there is this either sincere belief that the election was stolen, a lot of them think that, um, but I think more likely than not, they know it wasn't stolen and they want to alter a future outcome.